Get out of the way. Watch out and don't fall. <laughs> Let's make it a rumble. <laughs> Is you a very good indication? Oh, it's the knees. <laughs> it's very important to keep that body in check. There's a lot of injuries going around and we really want to get those down to a minimum. Pretty intense, tiring, but good. It's a good exercise, really. I love it. Yo guys, today is the first episode of the One Heel series. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and as there are lots of injuries going around, we really want to tap into some healthy exercises. And today we are starting with some maintenance for the legs. For today's session, you will need a round stick and two blocks, preferably yoga blocks. All right, so we have Joselito here in the house and he's gonna be our guinea pig today. I'm gonna show all the exercises on him, uh, zoom in on some of the movements that he's doing so that it's very clear for you guys what's going on. So before we start any exercise, we're always gonna make sure that our body is prepared and we're gonna shake down the whole body, starting from the bottom, going all the way up. So we're gonna loosen up the legs and the feet, try to do that as loose as possible, change sides, both of them. Always make part. sure, yeah, you can just make sure that everything's loose, just go side by side. By adjusting your position, you can change the muscles you are shaking. Do the whole leg stuff first. And then from the legs, if you feel okay, you can always do the exercises longer if you feel it's needed. You can then go to the hips, shake that booty. Ooh, just make sure by changing positions that you change and shake all the muscles. Okay, then we're going to the lower back, then you can hang in there a little bit, go to the back, you can feel those chicken fillets shaking. Okay, then the belly. Not belly dancers, but it's shaking. Okay, then we go up from the belly, we go up to the upper body and the shoulders, so loosen up the shoulders. Shake it, baby. You can also let out the breath and make sure that you're breathing properly so that you can shake it all out. Then go to the arms. You can even lift them a little bit to activate different muscles. It's just the intention to get the blood flowing, to get the body going, and to make sure that the body knows that movement is coming. Okay, then we have the last part. The last part we're going to be very careful because in our neck we have a lot of nerves and stuff like that. So we're slowly, goes slowly, gonna move our neck around, going right, going left. You can go down all the way as deep as you can, keep breathing. And we also go up as far as you can. While we're doing the exercises, I always want you to breathe deeply into your belly. That's one of the main focuses that we'll have today, is keep breathing. Very important if you wanna get that body injury free. All right, for the first exercise, we're gonna take the stick and just put it on the ground. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna improve the flow in our legs and we're gonna do that by massaging the feet. So you're gonna put your foot on the rolling stick, you can start with your toes and just push it a little bit and roll all the way down all over your bottom of your feet. And when you're doing so, you're gonna feel where the pain is. And if you feel some pain somewhere in a spot, then you're gonna focus on that. And you can even put some more pressure on there by uh, getting the knee over the stick. So bending it forward a little bit and then you can really massage into that. Okay, so you can do the heels, you can do the midsection, and you can also do the toes. So you can do this for about a minute or five, and once you start feeling things settling in, having less pain, you can change your foot, and you could do the exact same on the other side, start with your toes, roll over with your stick over the whole bottom of your feet, going to the heel, Feel where the pain is, and once you get that pain located, 
We're gonna put some pressure on there and keep breathing. The more the blood gets flowing, the more oxygen you get into those muscles. Very important. You can also do the sidewall of your feet or the inside. <laughs> All good goes. All good. So this can be pretty intense, but that's the intention. We're gonna go and look for the spots where there's lots of tension and try to get a good massage in there. Some leg exercises. Here and there, when you feel it, you just try to keep massaging it in there. And if it gets better, put some additional strain on the, <laughs> on the spot. Once you find the spot, you'll know it. <laughs> Who are you? And for the next exercise, we're going to do a simple thing, but very effective to activate your knees. We're going to take a small obstacle, in this case a stick, put it in the middle of the mat and we're actually going to do a left-right coordination exercise that gives you a very good indication of your knees if they're still working properly or not. The knees are very much impacted when riding the one wheel so you want them to be as strong as possible. Very simple, we're going to do left, right, left, right, left and make it even bigger as you can. You can go as big as possible if your body allows it. And this gives you a very good indication if the knees are still doing a proper job. And I'm gonna give it to Ghost, who's gonna do the exercise and see. Start small, jump in over the stick, and go as far as possible as the body allows. You can put some flare in there. Left, right left, right, and you can make the jumps a bit bigger as you go. And try to stick to the lines on there and push it a bit further each time. It's a very good activation exercise, perfect warm up for the knees to get everything going and to get them pumping for the one wheel rides. <laughs> Okay, and you can have a rest. <laughs> I always advise to do two sets of these just to get the body and the flow going. As already mentioned, breathing is the key today. We're gonna take two yoga blocks. And this is a really fun one. We already talked about getting the flow going in the legs. Well, we're gonna build onto that with these two blocks because actually when walking around and when running and doing lively things, our legs get really stressed out, but you really don't feel the stress in there. What, these, what this exercise does is like uh, show you where the pain points are in your fascia. What is fascia? That's like the tissue underneath your skin. And after walking around and like doing lots of stuff in daily life, this stuff gets stick together. You could even have little clits and lumps in there. And we're gonna try to loosen these up with this exercise so that the legs and all the energy can flow a lot better with doing these exercises. So we'll need two yoga blocks. You can actually use any size. You just put one down like this, horizontal and flat. And then the other one, you're just gonna put on a 45 degree angle so that you can use it as like a gas pedal or a brake. And we're gonna put one foot on there and the other leg, just move your butt a little bit forward. And with your other leg, you're just gonna put your uh, calf on there, on the block and let it rest. Put your whole weight on there on the edge of this block. Really important that you can put some weight on there, keep the other block in place with your foot and you're just slightly gonna roll over the edge of the block and you're immediately gonna feel that there's some sticky icky stuff in there or some pain points. Move your leg a little bit if you don't feel anything but you can actually do the whole surface of your calf and see again where the painful points are and where you feel the stress. And if you feel the pain, don't hesitate to push a little bit in there. You're not gonna harm your body. It's just to loosen up all the fascia and all the little lumps in there. And that's really important to improve the blood flow, to improve the energy flow, and to have good maintenance on your legs to keep one wheeling. So here you can see the construction 
of the yoga blocks, just one horizontally flat on the side, one in a 45 degree angle. Use your foot as a stop for this block so it doesn't move. And then put your calf anywhere from here to here on the block to see where the pain is. And just slightly roll over the block. And you will find out that there's a lot more pain points in your calves than you think. You don't really feel that in your daily life, but when you do these exercises, it really comes up. You feel the fascia. <laughs> Painful, but good. Painful in a good way. So that's the thing we're looking for. Painful in a good way. That means we're loosening up the muscles and all the fascia, the sticky icky stuff in your legs. And also the key in here is to make sure that you keep breathing. And if you don't feel it immediately, just move around and look for a spot where you feel a lump or some sticky icky pain. That's where you need to be. Rolling. Ooh. You can keep at it for like a minute or five. If you find like a good spot, just keep massaging it for about five minutes. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Put your other foot on the block that is on a 45 degree angle. Other leg like this, you're just gonna slide it over the block. And we're gonna look for a sweet spot again. So in some places you will feel nothing, which is quite okay. And if you move it a little bit, you might start to feel some pain, some pain. And until you find that sweet spot, which you will definitely feel where it is, you just keep on moving that leg over the edge and massage that pain out of there. If you keep doing this for a couple of minutes, you will definitely feel a difference. When your fascia gets all sticky, your blood has problems flowing and getting the oxygen in the right places. And don't forget to breathe. Just keep breathing in there. Definitely if you feel like a pain point, a satisfying pain point, keep massaging it and keep pushing oxygen into that body. That will help. After this exercise, have a little walk around to feel if there's any difference do you feel any difference, ghosts, in the legs? I feel better, less stiff. And after opening the calves a little bit, we're gonna activate the legs again with a different exercise. It's a very, it's a very good exercise, also as a warm up, and to like make sure that all the muscles are ready before you go one wheeling. One tip before we are going to do this exercise is you could get a little bit lightheaded. So if you get lightheaded in this exercise, you're just gonna go down to this stance, very safe. If you tumble, you don't fall from too high. So first off, we're gonna put the feet on the width of your shoulders, like uh, just in a straight way, and unlock the knees. So bend the knees a little bit. And then we are gonna go forward and down until our belly reaches our legs. So you can slightly bend forward. Try to keep your neck straight here, straighten it out a little bit, yeah. And just hang in there, loose, just let your head go and your arms. I'm gonna try to show it. So stay in there, goes, keep breathing. I'm coming, going down. Everything hang loose like a cowbell. And once you're there, once everything is loose, we're gonna cr curl up the toes upward. So the toes, if they're touching the floor, you're just gonna reach up with your toes. Very important to activate the backside of the legs and you will feel this burning already a little bit. Keep breathing. There's gonna be extra oxygen in your brain because the blood is flowing down. And now that we have that stretch, we're gonna slightly put all the weight on your left leg. So you're gonna lean in there, put all the weight on your left leg and you're gonna really feel that burn in the left leg. Keep breathing, a couple of breaths, and then we're going to the other side. And you go, switch legs, put all the weight on your right leg, keep those toes curled, keep everything hanging loose, keep breathing, a couple of breaths, and go to the left side again. This is gonna be really intense, folks, so hang in there. Hang in there, keep breathing. This is what is gonna make you go. You're doing very well, go, so keep in, 
and then go to the other side again. Keep breathing. Here, your breath work is so important to keep pushing in there because this is a burner. Okay, and then one more time, go to the left. Go to the left, keep breathing. It's gonna start shaking a little bit. Then one more to the right. One more to the right. All right, doing very good. And then, very important, go to the middle again. And when you come open, we're gonna really mind that we have a straight back coming outward. So first, move up the head. Keep your back straight, yeah. Always when you open up, make sure that you do it with a straight back so you don't push too hard on those uh, back muscles. All good? All good. All right. So this is again another very good exercise to activate your legs, to get all the blood pumping and to get them going before starting a one wheel session. And it's just good maintenance to get that body back in check. We're gonna do something fun with the yoga blocks. So you're gonna need two yoga blocks to do this exercise. And I'm gonna show you guys, it's really fun. You just put the blocks one in front of the each other. And it's actually a balance exercise that also strengthens the legs and is very good for coordination. So we're gonna start off at the first block, the front block, and we're gonna take the back block and put it in front of the other one as smooth as possible while keeping your balance and going like this and one foot in front of the other one and you keep going until you reach the other side. It's a good balancing exercise while strengthening the knees and the legs and you're gonna go the other way. <laughs> Watch out and don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it a rumble. <laughs> All right, and just try to do it smoother with, it, with each movement so you can get a little bit of flow in there because flow is very important, as we know, for riding a one wheel. The flow is how we go. The flow is how we go. Goes is doing good as well. As you can see, the movement is getting a lot smoother. Once you get your muscle memory to program something new, this is actually done by repeating exercises if you want to get good at something, you just have to repeat it and watch what you're doing and make sure that you make the necessary adjustment to make it as smooth and stylish as possible. All right, so this is actually the basics and the easy part. We're going to make it a little bit more intense by changing the position of the blocks. We started out with having the blocks like flat. Now we're going to have one flat and one straight. So now it takes a lot of more coordination to make sure that the block doesn't fall around and you have to balance on a smaller piece which makes it a lot harder. So you really have to stay centered and we're in a collision pad. We're gonna fix that. Get out of the way. <laughs> okay. So the flat one is a bit easier. You can take a rest there. And then take the other block, make sure that you have a good foot position because this is key not to flip over. If you don't feel comfor comfortable doing this, stick to the basics. All right. And flip. Flip it around. Flip mode. Ugh. And you can actually feel this working in your whole body because of the balancing and the focus that you need. This really helps in getting that long-term coordination, making sure that you keep on breathing in exercises even when it gets hot. Because once you're riding and you're coming in hot, sometimes you don't even have the time to think. So you wanna have these things programmed already to make sure that your reaction levels and your stability and balance is on point. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey man. Whew. Pretty intense. Tiring, but good. It's a good exercise, really. I love it. So this makes it a lot more playful. I know that a lot of you guys are not into doing exercises or sports. And that's why I always try to make my own exercises as fun as possible and as challenging as possible. Because we as riders like a challenge. So also try to implement that into your daily strategy. One up.
<laughs> Definitely harder. Yeah. You can make it as difficult as you want. You can even put them like straight up, but that's like pro level. Don't boost too much the day before <laughs> you do this. <laughs> this is not a hangover sport. <laughs> Lock in all the movements that we haven't been doing for a long time with these bodies. We move our bodies a lot, but not in the way we are supposed to. That's why exercises are always good. Also, the straighter your line, the harder it is. Yeah. You can play around with this, you can move around in your whole house, make some courses with that, or maybe race each other if you have two people. You can do whatever you want, go all out, just make sure that your workout is as fun as you want it to be. Now, as we are at the end of this routine, we always need to have a good cool down because our body has been intensified. And to do this, I know a very cool exercise. We're just gonna go down, sit down, and we're gonna lie down on our back and what we want to do is like stretch up our legs in a 90 degree angle reach out with our toes to the top and like it's the intention is to really make sure that the legs start shaking because there's a lot of tension that builds up in our body and when we want to get rid of this we want to do that by shaking also the animals do that like when you see a cat waking up the first thing she does is stretching and shaking those legs so that's what we're gonna try to mimic with this exercise. So first off, we're just gonna go lay on our back, totally flat. And then we're gonna lift both legs in a 90 degree angle and lift your toes up as far as you can reach and like really stretch up the legs to the ceiling and stretch them out. And then our hands are still free. We're gonna put them to the ground, not on the rubber, not on the mat, but on the ground. So if the legs start shaking, we can shake out all the tension and let it go by the hands, let it go through the earth connection. So really put some effort in pulling them up and you'll feel in the beginning it's very doable, but after a while your legs will start shaking and that's what we're looking for. Get that shake in there and get that tension out of your legs. Keep breathing, people, keep breathing. Very essential today. Because that's where the power is, in our breath. As you can see by Ghost, perfectly 90 degree angle, stretching out the toes to the ceiling. And that's what gets those legs shaking. Keep breathing and hands on the floor, because this is where we release the excess energy. And we wanna stay in there as long as it's comfortable and try to push it a little bit beyond that. So we always have that first point where we feel like giving up and that's where the growth is. If you push through that, you will notice that you will get further each time and you will find a way to push forward and then you can use that in your daily life as well. Once you find the strength and the force to do that, you can tackle anything. So as you can see the legs are starting to shake, everything's transferred throughout the body, it goes out through the hands into the ground and that's where we want to have all the tension, not in our bodies. Okay. And once you're okay with that, you can let go and just stretch out over the whole floor. Always, when you come up, like if you come down from a lay down, always try to go sideways. Okay. To save the back, because if you push like this, it's fairly hard on your back. That's something to keep in mind. All right. So it's a pretty intense one today. It's a good one. Yeah. So these are actually some exercises that you can do to maintain your body and to keep the strength into your legs because we all want to ride as long as possible. We ain't getting younger. So 
always make sure that you have a good maintenance program for your body. If you need any help or if you have any questions, just put them down below in the comments. I will be happy to address them and we'll probably be doing more of these one heel sessions because I've noticed it's very important to keep that body in check. There's a lot of injuries going around and we really want to get those down to a minimum. And on that note, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Peace out and I'll see you in the next one. BAM!